guys, Anthony here, and welcome to my Let's Read for Spy X Family Chapter 7. Let's get straight into it, guys. All right, so it looks like we know Anya has made it into Eden Academy, and uh, from memory, I think. Anyway, don't know. I can't quite remember. But anyway, let's just get straight to it. Exclusive sale of Eden Academy uniforms. 99 and a half, okay? I grew two millimeters bigger just since last time. Probably a rounding error, okay? Don't be so sure. Kids grow fast at this age. That's true. My brother sure did. Then let's get that uniform. Then let's get that uniform with a little extra room. I still can't believe you're married now, y'all. Why did you say anything the last time you were here? The last time? Right, I'm so sorry. All right, so now they come and clean that you're in, uh, you're in Twilight are uh, married. And you think your child is attending the prestigious Eden Academy. Congratulations. Your husband must be an Eden al alumnus then. Me? No, I went to a third rate rural school. In that case, be careful. There's some, something of a gulf between the alumni families and the first graduation generation ones. I hear it can even lead to bullying and discrimination among the students. Plus, there's hazing from the honor students, conflict between the dorm kids and the commuters. I hear all sorts of things. All right, so she's basically saying, hey, they're elite for a reason and they don't like having other people come into it. And those commuter students, apparently, they get kidnapped all the time. After all, everyone knows that only wealthy families can afford Eden. Okay? <laughs> We've got Anya, there's like, <laughs> she's freaking out. I don't want to go to Eden anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to scare you. It'll be okay. There's lots of wonderful things about Eden, too. Okay, so that's one complete uniform, plus a winter coat, a sweater vest, and three other pieces. Since you're a regular, I'll get those alterations done for you right away. And you can get the other required school supplies at the store on the corner. This show is getting pricey. Thank you very much. Hmm? What's... So you've got Anya, she's hiding behind Twilight. Hmm? What's the matter? I don't want to get kidnapped. Uh, I think that's a tad premature. Do you mind if we eat out today, you No, of course not. The kid, kids get taken at restaurants. <laughs> so she's freaking out. Today's chef special, pork salute with a pawpaw sauce, puccini mushrooms and potato potage. P -po? So the P, so the P cipher today. That, this, that looks good. My next briefing will be at 1300 hours, five days. Hence, at safe house D. Okay. Message received. But honestly, this is a ridiculous way to communicate. Excuse me, Olive. As you can... My little puppy, she's trying to come into the video. There we go, you can see the top of her head. <laughs> yes, hello. All right, so we've got the phone. Hello? Fine, how are you? Oh, they're already done? Okay, well, we'll be by to pick them up later today. Bo, my uniform's ready? Looks that way, so Anya's all excited and everything. But my briefing's today. I'm sorry, you but can you take Anya to the tailor? They need me at work today. Oh, of course, I'll take care of it. I might be back late, so go ahead and order takeout or something for dinner. Okay, bye-bye! And he's like, later! All right, so we've got traffic, so it looks like Twilight's heading to like one of those little photo booths. So, ching, flash, ch All right, so it's an elevator. Good day, or rather, good evening, Agent Twilight. Ah, my handler. My handler, what's this about? Before I get into that, what do these expats? Reports, They've been, you've been submitting. You rented a castle and furniture from the Royal Palace? Do you think our operating budget is your private allowance? That reminds me, I have a few more for you. Private school isn't cheap. That's your response? I'll be generous and call that gutsy. Of all these expenditures, all of these expenditures are essential to the mission. Fine, whatever. Moving on. So she's freaking out about the whole um, castle thing that happened. I'm here to prep you for phase two of Operation Strix. Though I doubt, I doubt you need it since you've always been thorough. I have been a tad off my game lately, so please continue. Phase two is a social gathering. Before we get down to brass stacks, let's review how things work at Eden. Eden Academy. Student body of roughly 2,500, 
ranging in age from 6 to 19. The curriculum spans all 13 years of, of education. So they go from kindy to year 12, basically. Eden offers a top class, uh, top class education in every field, from academics to sports to the fine arts. The student who the students who manage to distinguish themselves among uh, among even their fellow elite join the school's honor program as so-called imperial scholars. The social circle, the social circle to which Desmond belongs, is open only to these imperial scholars and their parents. Okay. To become an Imperial Scholar, one must earn eight merits, which come in the form of medals known as Stella or Stars. Stella are awarded for things like exceptional grades and contributions to society. In short, your orders are to develop your daughter into an Imperial Scholar. And if that necessitates underhanded methods, so be it. There is also a system of demerits known as Tony, Tr Tony Trust Bolts. What for things like poor grades and behavior. Be careful as accumulating eight of those leads to expulsion. Now, let's work out your plan of attack. That children, that, that child, an imperial scholar. <laughs> okay. Sounds like my anxiety won't be going away anytime soon. So, ching, ching, da da! <laughs> and he's like, la la, hello! <laughs> All right. They're looking at you, excuse you, we should get pictures taken of you. Ching, ching, da da! So she's doing all the cute little poses and everything like that. Sounds cute. Totally cute. So cute. Enough already. Please go home. I want to hear this all day. Sounds good to me. Uh, so she's got like, on your scene. Should we stop at the park? I got a uniform. I got a uniform. <laughs> what a cute little girl. She goes to Eden. You're so lucky. Oh, hello. Well, me, I'm hungry. Let's go home. What do you want for dinner tonight? Hamburgers. What sort of meals do you cook at home? Well, there you go. You like your real mummy best. I want to be with them forever. So flashback to the interview that we had a few chapters ago. I know that this family is just for appearances, but I still feel like I want to be a better mother to that girl. Okay. Oh, thank you. I needed that. All right. Mama, I showed everyone at the park how cute I am. Just don't get your uniform dirty before school even starts. Hey, Anya. Do you want to go to the market on our way home? Lloyd said he might be home late, so I'm going to cook tonight. You can cook, brother. I can try. All right, so it looks like we've got some gangsters, like wannabe gangsters here. Hey, check it out. Isn't that an Eden kid? Okay. Think that lady's her mom? Gotta be a nanny. No one that rich does their own shopping. You know, feel like I could use a little extra cash. Me too. All right. As long as I have meat and vegetables, I should be able to make something. No clue what each one of these is for, so I guess I'll just buy some of each. So here we go, and you're going, ta-da! I'm going outside, I'm bored. Okay, but you, you stay right out in front. So we've got Anya's walking outside. Having fun there, little miss. So, oh, so the, be a good girl for us, okay? We'll just get a few bucks from your nanny and let you go. Bye, guys! I Eden, this bullying and kidding. It was all true! I even heard the uniforms sell for a lot. Oh yeah? In that case, kid, you're gonna lose that. Bang! Alright, so what's going on? Oh, yours come out of nowhere, just decked him! What do you think you're doing? Bad move, nanny lady. Now you gotta cough up for his hospital bills too. Better pull out that wallet. I just used the last of my money, so it's empty now. But you're welcome to come and take it. Then I'll just have to settle for every last stitch on your girl then. Hope you got someplace else to go. So he's grabbing looks like he's grabbing a pumpkin. Cause you're definitely getting fired for this. So he's like, pumpkin bitch! She's like, ching! You split a pumpkin with your bare hands, so she's like, ching like that. It's like, I I am that girl's mother! If you don't want to end up like that pumpkin, run for your lives! He's like, eh, check that way! It's like, mama! Are you okay? So sorry. I looked away for just a moment and they're hugging. Oh, that's so cute. I love that picture. You're like, oh, I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. And they're freaking. All the ingredients are a mess now. I really am a terrible mom. I love my strong, cool mama. <laughs> She's like, super punch kapow. Like, no, don't do that, but train me, mama. Train you? 
I know being at Eden is dangerous, but if I train and get strong, I won't be scared. I can study hard and not die. I want to be like you, mama. <laughs> Maybe I'll never be like a normal mother, but I'll do my best with what I've got. Okay. And let's go straight home and train. Yay! All right, so it looks like your is going to train Anya to fight. Dude, compared to Twilight, nothing better. You got a literal assassin who her job is to kill people. And her, yeah, yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Ha, huh. getting ready for school. So they're punching. Huh? That anxiety is not going anyway. <laughs> I love was like, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm freaking out. That is the end of the chapter, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.